It was a good time, but we're not here for that. A bitch 20 went crazy. Y'all read that? Y'all seen to it? You seen to it. I know you seen to it. I know you read it. It, it, it. it was like, listen. It, am I the only one that thought that this was kind of a long time coming between them? Despite despite the journeys that they went on with the character arc, that they would eventually come to blows in some way, shape, or form? I, I, I've i been waiting for this, low-key. But I don't know if anyone else thought this would really happen, especially after like some stuff from the other side of the story. The idea of it just never even crossed my mind. It wasn't like a thing that I thought wouldn't happen. Mm. Miles? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess, I guess I don't know. I don't think I really thought much of it. I think the, I can't remember when they, because they, they already slightly scrapped before. Mm-hmm. Uh, In the rate of time. So I, yeah, so I think that might may have been my extent. But like this, like from what I'm saying, like it makes sense. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. All right, but let's get, let's go through it properly. I don't know if there's anything anything you wanted to start with, or we can just go through the go through through the top. But let me actually pull it on screen. I keep I keep I keep forgetting to find a way to make it not look ugly when I do this <laughs> with this screen. It's actually it's actually wild to me. It's been like a grand total of five days since Naya and I last talked about Kubera in a fucking yeah. video. Because I I ran away. I ran away to the um, <laughs> to the wilderness. Bonjour, Mocha. I ran away to the wilderness. <laughs> and I said, I'm living off the land. Yeah, so, yeah, we can. Uh... Just, we can just go through it. I'm about to show y'all how to find clean sources of water and forage. I'm built different now. I'm living off the land. <laughs> okay? I'm about to find that fun guy we can consume. But all right. That's, that's for another time. Okay. So, in the last chapter, Ran and Maruna obviously come to blows just slightly with Sempati being thing. And I really like this conversation here. And I do want to... There's a couple of um comments that we're on a video that I had that I do want to bring up and I want you guys' opinion on, but before I get to that, just give me a general opinion of the chapter. Goaded. Was it like, the best chapter in the bit so far for you? Yes. Not even okay. close. Okay. I actually don't know if it's my favorite. It might be, it's contender. I don't know if I, but it was really good though. It really, it really was. This was just pay, this was I like the Hanuman Central. one a lot. I like the Hanuman one a lot. I really yeah, that one was good. But like this one was chock full of payoffs. That's the reason why, to me, it was so good. Like a ton of shit. That's fair. I, 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 get, I would give that officially when I finish this reread. I'm almost done with season two. Uh, I don't, I don't know if, it, I don't know if I would say it's my favorite. Uh, definitely really good. Mm-hmm. But that favorite, I don't know. I don't know. Th- there are certain moments in it that I'm just like, that actually did kind of hurt me. But like, we'll get to it when we get to it. Dog. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to see my son spotting him. Sub, Dave. Um, but you know, that's not what hurt me. Sometimes, <laughs> some, some, sometimes, men speak with their fist. But okay, so I actually want to zoom in. I zoomed out to get some. Some I, I had to zoom out to get that picture. <laughs> the last, the last page. I had to zoom out for that. I want to zoom in a bit? I can't. I can't. I cannot see that far. So, um, they're having a back and forth here that I found was interesting. So Rand's kind of like, "Why are you interfering? You know, don't interfere right now." And he's like, "You know, she's not, she's not supposed to die here." And then he kind of brings up Raltara. How he kind mm-hmm. of—I don't think Maruna did that on purpose, though. I think that his assumption is completely off base. Um, I don't Rance. think Maruna knew what he was doing. Yeah, what he's like. Yeah, did you kind of save Raltaro because of blah blah blah? I'm like, no, he didn't do that. That he was just kind of acting out impulsively a little bit. I don't, I, because one thing we're going to talk about eventually at some point is just because, just like, I think one of the things at least the God of Earth um, wanted for, yeah. for Maruna was yeah. to just act more and stop being extremely calculating and I, I would argue around with the other the other direction where he kind of acts less impulsively and he's more calculating so i've always found that pretty interesting but these conversations like, the... yeah these conversations are no. always really good to me because i always find that like everybody's making a point because as much as i as much as i almost want to say Rand is the aggressor here i don't disagree with anything he really said though 
it's this, and, 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 and you can argue it's not him speaking. It's the ashes of the beginning. What do you, what do you call them again? The essence of victory or whatever. But, but yeah. The Vigor right. Boys. The Vigor. That's, that's, that's my name for him. You know what? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Vigor Boys, Vigor Gang. I don't know. Losers. The losers. That's that's what I call the lo- I, He's not wrong. <laughs> you wouldn't be right to call them that. So, yeah. Cat got your tongue. Well, go ahead. I don't disagree with Rand's position. Mm-hmm. I disagree with the conclusion he draws that Maruna is acting for his own interests and doesn't care. And yeah. also that Raltara being here changed the future based on this one. If, if that had happened, Vishnu would have stepped in 100%. Mm-hmm. And second, everything else that's been happening has been like closed loop causal nonsense that's been going on for time travel but like it, it's working so i wait what do you wait, what do you mean vishnu would have stepped in he would if it was an error he would have stepped in and fixed it like sure he said he would at this point though yeah i don't think that's true because this is past this is past the cataclysm so vishnu's gone he would have still pulled up no nah, i don't think so but i mean i i'm i maybe i don't think we ever talked about this night I'm actually under the impression that since N Zero, Vishnu hasn't existed. It's always been Kali presenting himself as such. Really? I don't. I, I don't think that's him because he even like recently in Abyss, this could, like is makes me like think for sure is when he specifically tells Kali Vinka, uh, "Next time you see me, mm-hmm. I I will not be the same person." You could take that as him like maybe changing positions on how he's going to act and like behave with the universe. Maybe he might take a more neutral stance like Brahma. Or maybe even like an aggressor stance rather than being a protector of timelines. But I kind of take that as like he just might really just be gone and Cal is just present, pre, pre, well, pretending to be him in a lot of these situations because I think she's the one that pulled up to Asha and stuff. So I don't think he would have come. I think he's actually just gone now. I don't think that's the case, but I mean, it's an interesting theory. I think there's, but I think there's a lot more evidence to say the opposite, especially when. I think Kubera himself was like our uh, Vishnu's champion in reference to Asha or some other god or Nastika said that. Mm. I just, I, I, I definitely think there was more to what he said, obviously with like the don't trust me when you see me again thing, you know, it might not be yeah. me. It's one of those things where it's, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's multiple ways to interpret it. And I think that's on purpose. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think it would be crazy to say that, but I, I probably lean to Vishnu still existing in some way, shape, or form, mm-hmm. even if he's somehow limited in what he can do because of Kali or whatnot, but I still don't trust him. <laughs> I still don't Neither trust do I. Vishnu. I guess, I guess that's my thing. I don't think he's... Act- I used to not trust him. I used to think he was a bad person. I actually think he's, like, relic- for whatever we categorize as what being good is. I think he's neutral. Rest of good. mortality, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I think him protecting the timelines, whether you want to say... Again, I it's a thing of a good universe, which just means long rather than fulfilling. Yep. You know, in our in our more uh, morality, that's not good. But for them, it is. So I guess that's how you take it. I'll but he is a protector, quote unquote. He's the nicest primeval so far. <laughs> that's not a very high bar or standard, yeah. but yeah, that's the least I can give him. Yeah, they're all <laughs> Vishnu's eyes, but um. Okay, so here's like one of the little parts that I liked here because I was. So I'm, I'm gonna find a comment in a second because I wanted to put it on screen, but I think it's on my phone. I'm damn, I didn't put it on my computer. But anyways, so Cat got your tongue after he says that, you know, different from the future. And he's like, well, it does bad things. It's fine. It's the future you want to go to. And it flashes back to like, don't you remember in the past when I tried to, when I tried to stay with my classmate? You objected to it because the future you want to, to, have to change because he's trying to see his family. <laughs> he's trying to go back to his kids and his wife, you know? So he's not trying to have anything messed up like that. What's up, Katana? You're welcome. So he's like, if I was just trying to create a better future, he's like, he's like, I would just like, and this is the part that you, you post this on thing where he's reading all of the like passages in like that that like white white room where time doesn't exist or whatever and you see akasha akasha kills manata Ah, exactly (laughs) that's like that's crazy like i was literally reading that in my college classroom and i had to put my hand over my mouth so i didn't fucking gasp or yell (laughs) you're you're a better man than me because they would have heard me (laughs) screech (laughs) they would have heard me screech bro like my yeah. eyes were bulging. I was like, there's no fucking <laughs> way. 
No, I was that hurt. That actually hurt. I didn't even like Venado like that, but that hurt. She fine. She can get it. But I do smiles. <laughs> the it's just Go ahead. <laughs> No, no, it's just I just can't get over really at this conversation. Like, what do you think of Akasha? I don't know. There's something about her that's off and just every subsequent week it's like, damn, this bitch is crazy. It's <laughs> <laughs> not getting it's getting worse. That's not this good bitch one hundred percent is the reason why Garuda is in fucking comatose. Sus- suspended, whatever, yeah. One hundred percent is behind it. I'm just trying to, like, what, what would be her end goal? Because she's not strong. It's not like she can take over this shit herself. I'm willing to bet at some point this story's going to go into what happens if other characters absorb the names of higher beings than them. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she tries to take the name Garuda and Garuda? get all of his power, similar to how Kinara, Kinara did for Aravada. Oh, that's possible. But she's not trying to see, she's not trying to see Maruna Aruna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't want you don't want you don't want that to come back. <laughs> you don't want you don't want you don't want him. Um, so yeah, he was basically like, bro, I you know how much stuff he read there, and he's like, yo, I didn't change anything. I had to endure all of it because there are so many things that he wanted to do. And this, and and despite that, it's actually like these are bad things that are happening, or things that we don't like. If we're trying to get back to the actual future, we're gonna get back to. We cannot interfere with these things, bro. Like, imagine Kasha, even herself. That's a great, fair, fair question. Go ahead. Imagine if there was like a Utah entry that he read. Fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm sure there's I'm sure there's more stuff that he read. That's that's, that's, that's like crazy that we don't that oh we're gonna my see God, later dude. on. Yeah. There, hey. There's like when I when I when I'm doing this reread, there's a lot of more stuff that I'm picking up on, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. even oh, sorry, why? No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say when I, when we're talking about the because like, we're already kind of in it, the Maruna Utah and stuff. To me, I don't make. I didn't pick this up because I literally read this so long ago. But it was just like one, like Mar- uh, Maruna and Yuta actually know so much outside information early on. It's kind of weird because they know the thing with the power of the names. Maruna knows the whole situation of how he actually could, from what we know, basically save Garuda, right? Uh, and then even Yuta. I don't like because I know he has the the ability to read minds, but it seemed like he gained some level of like also seeing the future because he told Asha, "I know that Lisa's future is actually better than yours," and it's just like this weird thing of how do you gain that information? I don't know why that version of Ryan would know something like that. You know what? Damn, I don't know. Well, I because. I haven't I haven't gotten a chance to kind of do my reread because I I again I know this is one of those stories with the foreknowledge that I have now going back and and, and um I'm gonna appreciate so many things and, and so many things are gonna be cut are gonna have <clears throat> I'm gonna be different in context because of the knowledge that I have as far as I am in the story so I kind of can't wait for it but I want to make sure I do it right and take much of notes it's really intriguing when you yeah. realize so many of the characters in the main title have read those papers so everyone knows possibilities of the future and effort of the past I agree. Yeah, a lot of people know a lot, but after we finish this, I got a lot of things about the general talk. So I think just... I think you can deduct, you can deduce Maruna's knowledge to. I think based on what was said in this chapter from Kubera, it seems like that him, Genharva, and Maruna were all in on this plan to get the names even back on Carte. That's yes. probably why they were blowing up the villages on Carte when Asha was there, and this is about like what was it, fifteen years, twenty something years prior to. Lee's leaving, whatever that was. Uh, cart yeah. was blown up on N five. Yeah, so that's about. Uh, I think it was like. Yes, yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, so, I think it's. I think that's. It's obvious where Maruna gets his from. Yuta's a different story. Yeah, but even just like Maruna, I guess understanding the power of names, because I I think actually. Gen Harva he's the official one. Probably talked about it. Yeah. Well, I'd wager more likely against Harva. But I'm not, I'm not talking about the power of names with Kubera. I'm even, I'm even just saying with himself and Jatayu and Kalavinka, because remember, they had to split up because specifically each of them have a specifically unique name. Yeah. Well, Akasha told him the yeah. thing for Yuta, I think. Yes, she told... Well, I don't think she specifically... No, yeah, she, she told him that 
Jitayu is a fake name. Yeah. yeah. She told him that. Yeah. He probably just but looked he, through it together after yeah. that stuff, more than likely. And I guess Kelly Vink is also, you know. So, By the as way, I said, speaking, speaking of Kalavinka, she can get it as well. These Garuda women need to relax. That's all I'm saying. With, with, the, with, the, ne- with the necklace off? Yes. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What kind you're of question sick. is that? Belligerent! I'm, I'm really what what I am kind of curious. It's it's kind of interesting. I don't know like how intentional this is. Maybe this might be a plot point that Garuda's actually the weakest king, but all of his kids are literally just OD. I don't think he is the weakest. I think he's <laughs> he is the weakest. I no, he he is for sure stronger than Kanara before she takes Aravata's name. No, I think canonically uh, she was stronger. Because there, there's the weird thing if she got weaker, she did get weaker once Shess was born because Shess did take like some of her power supposedly. But I, I still and think Aravato's the, in the process of replacing her, so she was getting weaker yeah. from that too because Aravato was supposed to be king, whatever. Yes, but the is she, from what I've seen, I guess what we all have seen at this point, the gap between kings can be kind of big because literally uh yaksha's three and asha was four and yaksha was beating the brakes off asherah <laughs> i haven't seen enough feats from kinar or that, that moony that, that planet moony is so funny to me. <laughs> yeah. so like asha if you so like, like, laugh because glam <laughs> he just he reminded me of the meme of like back in the day where i can't i, I want to say it's i was odd if you're so much like that's when i do bad shit with my friends and the mom like why does he just choose violence what's wrong with him <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> he's yeah. so funny i love him Anyway, go it's ahead. like do crimes. Come on, man. <laughs> go ahead. Um, someone's gonna so, say so I don't. I don't know, man. I I, I hear you, but oh no. I I, I Kadora made me a little bit of a believer because I used to think Garuda was, but I don't know because Garuda just hasn't shown anything for me. Neither. That's she, all. Though. That's my thing. Well, I mean, now she has a different name, but I mean, with the different name, we know that's cheating. T- is that's, it? Because that's, that's her high. original power. Because she was originally stronger. I actually think she might be stronger now with Arabata's name than she would have been with just mm-hmm. Kinara, personally. I don't know because it seems like it was like an inverse thing of like Arivata was just reached the level that she, that she lost. So I don't know if I would even say she's actually stronger, to be honest. I don't know if I would say that. Mm-hmm. I think it's relatively comparable. Mm-hmm. And she, I mean, she has one of the best feats on screen of fighting two Nasticas and two gods and basically beating them all. Kings should do that at this point. Yeah. Any, any god that isn't Agni to me doesn't. I'm not going to really consider a threat to a first king at this point. Mm-hmm. I don't think Agni's a threat to them. <laughs> Parad- I'm only doing that because of Paradisal Flare. Yeah. Uh, Wait till you see Crimson Sunshine of Dawn. But all right. I mean, <laughs> um. So he brings up the Raw Tower thing and basically like, oh, so, you know, you were smiling. Oh, my God. In original history, you must have fought her. Blah, 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 blah. But he's like, oh, so basically you brought her along knowing the fate she would do. I'm like, he doesn't know. He didn't know that. I don't think he knew that at all. I do think that for some, in some weird, weird, sh- weird shape or form, this is actually Raw Tower's like, j- like path in life. Like, yeah. It's just supposed to happen. I don't think it's a mm-hmm. mistake or some aberration. I think it's supposed to happen, but I do not think Maruna really considered that at the time. His his thoughts and opinions are still evolving and I think and then I'm gonna argue that he comes across to me a bit more I know what he ends up doing is childless and juvenile, but I still think he's probably matured a bit um by going to his fifth stage. Even though I I, I honestly don't think I have enough evidence to make that case, but yeah, um, he didn't do that. And after like, you're doing it for yourself, this, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, nah. I mean, we have dramatic irony on our side, so we know it's not true. But he would have saved so he probably, he probably would have changed so much and maybe confronted his mother. But like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? You know? So I don't think he knew. I know. It's, it's, like he's, it's too unconvincing to use history as a justification now. But, the, okay, so I'm going to get to the, the, the Kalavika thing in a second. Do you guys think this, do you think Ran is in there at all right now or no? You think he has complete? Do you think he has any control in there? What's happening, or do you think he's completely been taken over? I don't think he's been completely taken over. Mm. I actually, I actually think this is more Ran than it is uh, Vigor Gang. To be honest with you, yeah, I think it's it's one of the, yeah. I think it, I think it's more of like an influence. Like it, it just empowers just certain like feelings. I don't think it's like not no Ran. Because this dude has been fucking losing his shit since they started the journey in the first place. Like, he's... 
he needs a therapist or like 15 therapists at this point. <laughs> Get this man some help. Yeah, he needs to, yeah. He's going through it. Sorry, I was on the wrong text. Okay, so um, I, I think he's being manipulated. I'm kind of in this weird like in-between stage where it's like, I almost want to say that him drawing on their power maybe ups his aggression or belligerence, if you will, or something else. But like they haven't taken over his body and he has no control of anything. And I don't think he's like backseat in his body right now. I don't, I don't believe that yet. I still think that he's in there to some capacity, even if it's maybe he's trying to fight for control. I'm not entirely sure yet. Well, that yeah. has to be seen, but I don't, I, I'm kind of with glam. Like, I don't think it's just like bigger boys. <laughs> <laughs> bigger gang. <laughs> I I, th- I think it's like seventy thirty. Him. Okay. That's Hold on. Literally. We're just a glass thinking. cannon. They're in the clan. The, they're they're the clan with the weakest regeneration. We know he could that go toe toe with uh battle crazy Garuda based on your actual comment. I mean battle crazy Asher. I meant yes he is. I think he's being manipulated. He is more conscious to me, but his negative feelings are enhanced. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's kind of yeah. That well said. That's kind of what I was thinking. But he's not completely gone. Okay. So. Because I still think that um, figure gang, the losers, <laughs> whatever we're calling them, I still think that they they want Rand for something specific and are not going to just throw his life away meaninglessly. Does that make sense? I still think it's, I think everything just at this point, my my thing when it comes to anything now is just, it has to always relate to sense. That's just how I view things. Okay. I think it's sense. Yeah, you, you are the sense guy. <laughs> yeah. he, he does be sinning over there. He does. And that's why I have even a thing with Cali. But we'll get into it. But yeah, I, I think it mm-hmm. sends. Okay. For Ran? For the Vigor people. I mean, I mean, yeah, but I'm saying like Ran doesn't have sins on him. So I don't know what the fuck yes, they're I, I, I think they're pa- I think they're trying to use him as like a medium to pass theirs on to him. Mm-hmm. In the Something. same way like Anatta needed to pass his on to people in order to like exist Not because they since right. kind of like physical weight, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or physical how, how do you, how do how how do we word this? They have like, phys- <laughs> they have physical like exist. I don't know. They're like metaphysical concepts that affect you. I guess. Yeah, these things are these things are are are. are I, I there's a statement I have to remember. I have to I have to look at it again because I want to talk about it. But real quick, so Calvin comes in and tells and tells him to go through the whole blah blah. blah. Here's what you got to do. So he leaves, and oh, Rand's wow. like. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, he changed. She changed the what, what the was it the honorific elder brother. Him? She went from bro to hmm, dear elder, eld, brother. dear eldest brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, I, why you're shielding them, even though you were fighting her not too long ago? I feel like an idiot for having trusted you. I don't know. There's there's something about this line too that like this is something that I can see Iran saying to some degree. I just don't know if he would say it. Or say it like that, but like 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 things said earlier, like it's almost like it's kind of like upping his um kind of more negative emotion. That stuff they said about Ryan making the choice and bearing the consequences was the exact thing Kelly said back in the crime punishment. Curry got even a comment about us having heard the phrase. Oh, oh, I'm talking about yeah. <laughs> there you go. And, but 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 I want to give Calvin a credit because she realized something's different with him. Like something like you've been weird since earlier. So. And they put the power up. Sure. So, <laughs> yep. Then we had the, then we have like the break here. Then so this part I like here. So he flies away with some potty, drops her off, and everything is like okay. He's like okay. You're supposed to be on count. Um, judging by your different stage development, are you from the future? We have a quick question for you before you get to this part. To yeah. you both, we you mean I especially we've been waiting for Maruna and Kalavinka to meet mm. for a long time. Do you think? Rand being the focus kind of mitigated the, I guess, this meeting. Like, Calvinka. do you think, did you like want more from the meeting of uh, Maruna and Kalavinka? No, I think the situation makes sense. It's not like a, oh my God, reuniting. It's like, there's a, there's some there's stuff happening and we're on a time constraint because the portal is closing. So we didn't get, okay. we didn't get a proper t- chance to do it. The one that I would argue, it's not even as, it was underwhelming to me because I, I know there's more to it. The one that threw me for a loop was really Lee's and Cass when they reunited. I thought that would have been a much bigger deal. Yeah, me, That's the me only one that I was kind of like, yeah, what's going on there? So 
Yeah, me and me and I, in the last video we did, <clears throat> me and he and I talked about the the, the one for me is Lee's and Kubera's reunion. It's yeah, like, I, I watched the I watched the video. Um, I watched. I said this one. I'd say would be lackluster if I don't. If I don't see the two of them hug after all the bullshit's done, then I'll say it's lackluster. But other okay. than that, I think it's fine for right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The, the the context matters, and then you know we have it. So I'm like, listen, there's a bunch, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think it's just that Ram doesn't completely disagree with killing Maruna. I I can agree with that to some degree. He won't consciously make the decision, but under his influence state, he would not be able to make calculated decisions. Fair enough. Yeah. Lee's and Kaz beating was kind of awkward. <laughs> Kaz. We're going to talk. I got a lot to say about Kaz. I got, I'm going to pick your brain on that, Glenn, because he, he, even the young Kaz kind of like, yo, he's some off with him, bro. But, um, yeah, but we, yeah, we, I mean, we, I mean, whatever. Yeah, we can, we can do more of that. I thought, yeah, yeah it's whatever. We cannot, we cannot pause this plot. We have to meet up because Rana, yeah, Rana killing tree. <laughs> there you go. We need to, we need to give Rana, um, what is it? Not, it's not Klondike bar, it's a Kit Kat. What's the one where to like have a, your, your wildin, have a Snickers? Bar? Snickers. Snickers. I said, I'm old. Sorry for the egg bar. <laughs> no, no, what bad. would you do? <laughs> uh, so judging by your state, blah, blah, yada, yada. And after he basically called him like God Kubera, like, how did you recognize me? Did that line throw anyone for a loop here? Like, I thought that was no. weird. I, I, I'll explain why. Uh, why I had the thought. It, like, this is his weird summoning, right? The like nah he yes. nah, you too, right? So like I think they're like more disguised or whatever, and their voices and stuff are supposed to be altered and everything, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So And and this applies to every god as well. Right, right. So so like when he said that, I was like, Maruna, is, is is that not working on Maruna? Like he could just see him normally or regularly? Or is it something about the way he's carrying himself? Where Maruna's just like are you making a joke? <laughs> you always appear in the same form. Wouldn't it be stranger to not recognize you? I thought this was, I don't know. Maybe I, was over, I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but I thought it was actually like a pretty, a pretty significant moment. I thought it was Maroon annoying mannerisms more than anything else. I don't, I don't know if it was some other guy he would be able to recognize. No, that, no, 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 no. That, that's the point I was trying to make because even go yeah. back to when he first, when he sees Lee's again, he kind of can't tell humans apart in a weird way, he has to use different context clues to understand kind of who he's talking to. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So I was wondering that's if that's... You're so, 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 so I was wondering <sighs> if that's all it really was. Like, you're just like, this is how you act. You're always like, like this, what the hell? You're making a joke when I have time for this shit. But I was, my, yeah. my part of me is like, if he's doing that weird disguise thing where it alters your face, your voice, and all kind of thing, it's, it's, it's for some reason Maruna just allowed to see um able to see through that in his present form is it a time related thing i don't know i'll just i don't know i was thinking i don't know I'll be i think it could be a, it could be a, fifth, a specific fifth stage thing for him but i, I think it's also that um, we, we'll go into this later when we talk about season three um but he's different now when it comes to being able to recognize human beings uh, and gods as well because he's actually stickers aren't new i'm sorry liking gods more as well <laughs> stickers aren't yeah new? I, don't I don't eat chocolate man I definitely took it as him actually just physically seeing his form, like as it is. Like I, I took it as like, like the, I guess if you want to classify this as an illusion for what they can and cannot see, I just like it just didn't work on him. Now, for whatever reason that is, as you said, whether it's time, I don't, I don't know if it would necessarily be fifth stage. I would, I would argue more if it would be anything. It would be more related to his actual age at this point. In the same way, like the older you get the less insight would work on you. So I don't know if this is like a reverse insight thing uh, like, type thing. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. So like there's a lot of ways, but I, I, I don't, I didn't take it as him like looking at mannerisms. I literally just took it as him like literally. Seeing I mean, the, di the dialogue suggests mannerisms. That's why. That's really? I saw, I saw, yeah. I heard form that to me is yeah. physical attributes. Yeah. Cause like he's, Kubera's never looked like this prior. At least in yeah. his presence. That's yeah, weird Kubera shit just, like, Kubera just comes in his cheeky or regular form, and his hair changes color yeah. depending on the time of day, right? Wait, I guess I guess maybe we're misinterpreting. I'm interpreting the form that Kubera is right now as the illusion, even to the audience members. Yeah, yeah. So what Maroon is seeing right now is not what we're physically seeing. No, I think he's okay. seeing, if he's seeing anything, I think he's seeing both at the same time. Oh no, I, 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 I think we know a disguise is there. Like he's like, oh, I see the disguise, and I can look past that and see that's that that's you. Yeah. He he also tells him that um 
once we meet again, I'd like to know a little bit more your intentions. You always no, no, come no, no. That's go- not that's not what he says. I'm sorry, go on. Uh... What? Because because he, he's he's literally says, "Oh, you could open and pass, and aren't you good at that?" And he literally says, "How do you recognize me?" And Maroon is confused. Yeah, and he's like, "What are you talking about? I you always appear in that same form." So that to me is saying he literally is seeing him as if like the hood was off and he still has the gold hair like blatantly in front of him. That's how that's how it seems to me, unless I'm tripping. I think you might be tripping here. Well, I'm, really <laughs> not, a, I'm really not saying anyone's particularly right or wrong. I just thought that there yeah. was more to this moment than just like I I, I it, it felt important. That's why I wanted to highlight yeah. it. Because I was just like, wait, isn't he isn't he in his altered disguise weird summoning mode? So Yeah. That's all. I think, like, yeah. he, I think it's more like he, he just knows that he's in a disguise, like, hey, I see that Zia. I just don't think I just don't think he sees the disguise at all. I don't think he no, knows I, he's I, in a disguise. I'm not telling Genuine. you you're wrong. I said I, I, that's why I asked yeah. the, I asked like what do you think? Is it the time relay thing? He's just seeing him normally, is not the disguise doesn't work. That's why I asked that. I just wanted to know what everyone was thinking. That's all. I I'm not saying you're wrong, Miles. I don't think that's impossible. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm not, it, it's possible he just not he's just like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you doing? So, and and they they agree. With you. You're being agreed with in the, in the you're being agreed with in the chat. But um, so so then he says um, once you meet again, I would like to know about a little more about your attentions. You always come and go, saying things I can't understand. You are truly incomprehensible. And I'm just like literally me reading um, this story whenever right? this fucker's there. No, I, I I will I will tell you why my opinion on the God of Earth has changed. Um, it it happened during the Anata arc. I started to take a liking to him when he was on his detective gimmick. But, um, yeah, this was um this this was a cool scene. But this is also a part that I thought was kind of an, kind of interesting too. With um and um Curry Gum's um blog confirms that this is Taraka's like actual form. I believe at the, at the bottom. Let me make sure. I yeah, the one. Probably. Yeah. The bottom mm, two in the, in the water. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be uh, in the water channel. The yeah. only when yeah, she, this when, is the one. You, when she's oh, to I thought them. you put something in a channel on Discord. I'm like, I have a water channel. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> never, mind. <laughs> like, never mind. But yeah, um, where is it? Where was I? Where was I? Okay, right here, right? So she's, she's like, um, he has the eyes to see the truth. So maybe, so maybe that's not, maybe that maybe, so maybe you're right, Miles, but his intelligence yeah. is lacking. Like what? He's dumb. <laughs> He's still dumb. After all this time. Right now, you don't have the strength to open a passage. Did he forget that fact? If, o- if he only has that level of intelligence, his final stage of development, he won't be an obstacle in my son's path. I said, that's crazy. But he's like, you can open one. I like, why? I don't care if they die. He's sleeping on my boy. Yeah. Then she's like, "Yo, I'll tell you where your son's whereabouts are." And they talk about a. It, cause so someone remind have I have we ever heard of the planet Aishali? I don't remember this yes. name at all. Yes, yeah. we have. When, when we, that, it was mentioned multiple times, like beginning of season one, whenever you uh, showed up, whenever Shuri was brought up. Yeah, because okay. that's where they were staying like that entire time. And also, thought, this. Oh, yeah. go ahead, Naya. No, 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 you're. I'll be. I'm making a further point, so your thing's gonna be more on topic. Than no, that. I was gonna say. I, I, I guess I didn't remember. That's all. Yeah. I was I was going. I think this actually now explains how the fuck Taraka knew that Yuda was in the water channel on Malarve. Yes, in season two now. Mm, okay, which also tells me that this meeting between him and Kubera was also always supposed to happen. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, you can yeah. bring if you bring back um Kazutada with you in return. So he goes back. They're like kind of fighting. It's like it's gonna close, and then he just grabs them. He flies through. Look how look how look how cool he is, man. Ah, oh, elder brother. And he's like, we'll talk later. I was like, we'll talk later. It seems I have to deal with this guy first. And the elder brother, how laughable. So they talk about a thing. And her her expressions are killing me, by the way. She's funny. Um, and he's like, and, and so now he's, in, he's he's like his proper age again. I actually didn't record, I actually didn't realize that immediately. Um, because sometimes she draws it with the kind of like, I, I don't know, I don't know how to say this. It's like silhouetted, like a weird kind of bright silhouette, but, mm. and it's kind of like sepia tone, but, um, Good. I was worried because no matter how much vigor I'm given, I can't fully prevent the reduction of my lifespan. But since I have no uh, need to worry about such things here, does that mean that when he's, you know, burning the power of <laughs> the the losers, the vigor gang, it's basically mitigating how much of his lifespan he's yeah. using, but he's still using up of it. So let's say like he's going to live to be 200 and he fights for six minutes normally. He'd have like six years left. Let me extra. He'd have like maybe 160 years left. 
by using the vigor, maybe he has like 190 years left. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, but but when he's in the like timeless zone or whatever, he can just go 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 bananas. Mm -hmm. Basically. (laughs) Um, remind me, remind me of this if you remember it. When he's in the water and he's channeling the water the way that he was taught with the action and whatnot, does that that's him also not using his lifespan, right? At yes. all, or is or is it yes. just way less? Well, it's it's way less with just water, and I think it's supposed to be at all if it's in the water and it's the middle of the day because okay. it's he has double he has, he has light attribute and water attribute. Okay, yeah. And he's like, if it's two against one, I will win. Before I even go anything, is he capping? <laughs> is yes. he that nice? Yeah, <laughs> yes, he's uh, capping. <laughs> is he that? Uh... <laughs> is he that? Uh... He said that shit with. He is one hundred percent capping. I almost I'm believed it for lie. a second. I was believing. I think. I, I think. I think. I actually kind of believe Fran. Ironically, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know but but I, I didn't. This, I, he didn't. Ran, he didn't. Ran wait, was, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He, he didn't say it, and I went cap immediately. I went hmm? like I, I thought about it. That's that's all hey, I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Go hey, ahead. man. This is the same man who was training with Hanuman. I don't. <laughs> Training and then high key fighting are two different things. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Grandfather and, and, and the first and, and the first fight, Yaksha was literally controlling him <laughs> as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna, it's, it's still the body, though. Listen, I'm gonna say because this is gonna consent the fight too. I think the two of them are gonna be relatively equal, considering That's Ran right. is clearly not Ran is very clearly not to get level strength when he's in Sura form. And we've already seen Maruna say he he's going to be a Nastika in all but name when he was going to transform in a, and he showed it. As soon, he literally showed up and Sanfati was like, okay, you're different. You're basically a clan. Literally oh, said, you, you're the strongest member of the clan already as soon as she saw him. Did she say that? Because I haven't, I haven't reread it, but so Impl- she's saying she's, she's at least. like as a, even stronger than Akasha right now? That's what I took from it. Mm. Really? Dang, I didn't think he would be nasty. He trained with some pretty strong people and access the actress powers with no cost. No, I hear you. I, I, I think they're even, honestly. But yeah, I think they're gonna be. I think they're yeah. both. That'd be an interesting take. I think they're both gonna actually be comparable to most of the current kings. Oh. Ooh. Maybe I even don't. some. I, I, I like think, that. I think, but it might, you might, we might need a little. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Where yeah, do you go, where do you guys put Ran in Nastika ranks? Seeing these, seeing these power levels, I have not seriously power scaled this this in my life except for that one. Video I think you I, <laughs> if I if I had to really put Ran somewhere comparable to a king, I it think would he's probably be. It would be. I would say ass. Sagara. I would say okay. Sagara. I think he's stronger than Sagara. I, I think I think it would be a close fight. I don't think he I don't think he'd be Hanuman. I don't think he's like thirteen. I don't, no, I'm, right? I'm not saying I'm not saying beat. I'm saying he's close to Hanuman in strength. And I'd give yeah. Maruna the same courtesy. When Sampati said that she thought Aksha was dead, though, hmm. that is true because they when they left the realm, Aksha was like basically saying like, yeah, this shit's dead. Like we're like we're done. <laughs> so that is true. I still don't think. I think even if Akasha was there, somebody would still say the same thing. Because because the whole thing about Maruna now is that the Maruna name was specifically supposed to mitigate his loss of losing Aruna because it was still powerful enough. And even as a fourth stage, she's definitely stronger than like basically all the other fourth stages we saw. But I don't think when he reaches fifth stage, that jump would be that exponential. With I mean, Miles, he, 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 literally, he literally said with Maruna name, once I hit fifth stage, I'll be a Nastika in all but name. Well, see, this is this this is one issue I have, especially after rereading stuff. And he said that to he, another character, and the character dead ass agreed with him the minute he this, said this. It as this, well. this is what this is my only I issue with statements too. like this, though. When we talk about things like Rakasha or Nastika, like levels, that's such a broad Nebulous. range. Because, like, when we say Jabril could beat uh, Rash or Rakashas, to what degree? <laughs> Was that, was that rhetorical or? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just asking. I would oh. say like third. I don't think she could beat fourth. Maybe. Uh, I was calculating power levels unironically earlier just to see how much stronger people are. Because I don't like, think there's really any way to say for Jibril, to be honest. Because th- this, is, this, is, this is just me doing broad because I didn't finish, but right. So if you, if you go, if you do the actual numbers game, right? Uh, at the beginning of the series, Asha, 
but Bavadi magic is barely stronger than Rand's. But that's only for a single attribute, and since she has three, that gives her so much more ability to do shit. And her Hody's like twice as much, over twice as much. Jabril's Hody magic is four times as strong as Asha's, and nine times as strong as her Bavadi's. Shout out the staff. And I, yeah. And then <laughs> if you include the staff, and that, that was me doing uh, Jabril at a uh, at 10,000 when hers is over 10,000. So it's probably more. And that's not incorporating things like Silent Magic, Flame of Agni, and that's, that would be the same for Asha too. But like, these things would be exponentially greater. I would say Asha is probably at the beginning of the series, she could do we think she could even kill a second stage Raksha? I would say no. I think the staff of Agni gives Jabril a major power boost. Maru it gives her a crazy power boost. On Malk's or Raksha, she massacred this chapter. There were two superior Suras, I think. One of Aksha's daughter commented when they came with Sampati. I think I remember the comments on them <clears throat> speaking. But superior Suras is a huge range, yeah, too, because that's Upanani's stage story. So too. I don't know how strong Jabril is. I, don't, I, can't, I can't quantify that. I haven't seen enough. I don't know. But I think she's yeah. pretty, pretty powerful. I don't think. Yeah. It's hard for me to say. I will. I promise. Really... I promise. When I gotta really go through it, I'll think about power scaling more. I wasn't. It wasn't yeah. my major concern I'll, for the series. I'll just say at a baseline. I don't think that there's any human other than maybe current Ashra that can beat anything higher than a third stage Rakshasa. Mm. And that's the most I'm gonna give them. Okay. And they're all. They're all have... exceptions amongst third stage Rakshasas like Yuda, who's built different. But yeah. Wait, gonna... Glenn. Since you you read it, did we ever? I can't remember. Did we ever re get her new numbers for her divine affinity? Ashes? Yes. I don't remember. Okay. At least I haven't seen any numbers given to her in season three. Okay. I, I was just curious if we got it. Okay. I remember there, I mean, they made a new number for the 0515 that the system couldn't calculate, and it was like exponentially bigger. And it was like one and like four more zeros on top of the 0515, from what I remember. Okay. It was, like, it was okay. a stupid. It was a stupid number, but it was still comparable to Rand's, yeah. if I recall. Anyway, so she basically said, "No, don't." She calls you. There's no need. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I like this part. It's probably so around of you. I was gonna hype. <laughs> He's, he puts his hands out to stop her. A two on one fight is not necessary. Ransar off. Yeah, sorry. Is this? It's also like the full name. <laughs> Ichiko Kudasaki. Sometimes it mm -hmm. moves me. <laughs> he refused the whole conversation. I'm gonna force you into one. And after she basically tried to stop him, he's not really paying her any mind. And Rand goes, it's good that she won't avoid fighting. <laughs> I said, let's go. As the time for talking is over. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to try fighting you from the moment I saw you, your changed appearance. He's like, that's what I wanted to say, Rand. I was um, frustrated because there was no place to test my new, my grown powers. Look at these guys. They're just, they just want to see how much stronger they've gotten. I'm like, look at them. Then friggin' Calavica gets blown back. <laughs> she gets blown the hell back. Then you get this iconic panel, man. This panel is so beautiful. Big that sword, panel man. is definitely not my Twitter banner right now. <laughs> yes, I was gonna. I, I the only reason I didn't do it because you did it first. I'm like, damn. <laughs> That's the only reason why I didn't do it. Yet. You did it. You beat me to it. That's the only reason. It's 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 so crazy how much they've grown mentally and physically. It's, it's insane. actually insane. Like that we're at this stage right now. Especially Rand. <laughs> Rand went from zero to hero. <laughs> Remember when Randy was the neutral the first time and it was like a big deal and he's like, I like I'm like, oh he lost like a hundred years. He's about to die tomorrow. <laughs> like, look what he's doing now. Like, look at my boy. I think Lee's could be the fourth day Rakish, like especially if we include the sword of Re and the Golden Knight. Okay. Um Lee starts she coming eventually. I'm sorry. Uh, that's no, I'll, 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 I'll go ahead, oh, go ahead now. Oh, no, I was just gonna say she doesn't comment, have gold. The comment right is now. saying if we include. Um well, yeah, yeah. Um, we yeah. don't Get wait, we don't get, I think, but I uh, but we get some ridiculous transcendental values when the cloak of bondage is trying to recapture you in season two. We just don't know if that that's true. Ra Rasha true. Or Ran. Okay, but yeah, man, that chapter was wait. I, I don't know if we know this, but would it be safe to assume that transcendental values is almost basically a one to one ratio for divine affinity? Would that be fair to say? I don't know, I don't know. Personally, like if a Raksha had like 10k transcendental, I think values, do you think that'd be comparable? I think transcendentals are way too or woefully underdeveloped to really say that for certain. Personally, okay, but yeah, <clears throat> man, 
I have one question less about the chapter, man. No, I, I, okay, go ahead. But I just have a quick question for Glam. This was your first week reading it weekly, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was just gonna say, I think you, because I think you said this earlier too, Nye, about the uh, Ubera looking at her and but <laughs> being, being able to see her for, Thank you for the her form. Mm-hmm. But does that, does that, I know Kubera is weird because he's a previous candidate and I know he could probably see things, but isn't, but isn't her beautiful form, it was specifically made for Yuta only. So it's kind of an illusion form. So why would he, if he has the ability to see real shit, why would he see the illusion? Wait, repeat that. Sorry, wait. And why we, so Lee's? No, he, no. God Kubera. Oh, God Kubera, sorry. God, sorry. Yeah, sorry. God, yeah. Kubera, the god of Earth. Yeah. Because uh, uh, Taraka has like the beautiful form, right? Yes. But that was specifically crafted for Yuta so he would have a mother figure. Yeah. Everybody else sees her when she's basically like slime. Mm-hmm. So if Kubera can see things, maybe in the same vein of Maruna as like seeing through illusions or whatever, mm-hmm. why would he be seeing her in her beautiful form when that's the fake form? That- that that is well because well Curry Gum said that's what that's what she actually looks like. But I swear her actual form is the red. Miles, form. I wouldn't Th- be that surprised. Form is the fake one? I would not be surprised if God Kubera, given how fucking mysterious this dude is, like I get this character is a fucking enigma to me. I still yes. don't know what he wants. <laughs> but I know there's some alter ego or alt, like some alternate agenda he has going on. But like. Considering that this dude was allegedly a god oh, you know the previous what? universe, I wouldn't be surprised if he has other abilities that the other gods don't. Hold on, hold on. Like a lot of people were asking shit. whether Taraka's human form was drawn for the sake of readers or if she actually mm-hmm. looks like that. She actually looks like that. Since Kubera, who is looking at Taraka right now, is a special case. So maybe there's, some, there there's some, so maybe there's something more to it, but um, yeah. maybe the slime thing is really more like a surfication, partial surfication thing. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I it's, think it's, it's just. I think it's just Kubera can see it. That's that's. Mm-hmm. That, I think it's just Kubera and Yuta can see who, what she actually looks like, and nobody okay. else can. There you go. Um, that, okay. Catch up the comments real quick. I don't think it was drawn for the viewers. Not curry in the comments of Kubera's exception in the season like that. Doesn't really explain why though. Maybe due to the weird summoning that he's able to see that form. No, no, no. He shouldn't be able to because of the weird summoning. That's why it's impressive because it's supposed to alter yeah. your look and your appearance and your voice. I mean, it, um, yeah. If that's the case, Maruna might. Which be able Kubera? To see yes. <laughs> God of Earth. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think it was Lee since he took a sword that Yuta was holding to suppress power that. They catch up everything. Okay. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Shout out to my certified BAM lovers. I appreciate y'all. Gotta show love to the priests of fire. You already know what's brilliant, gang, over here. But I gotta give a huge thanks to my tier three subscribers, the fifth Zen gods. Shout out to Zodiac, Sunny Katapali, Simi, Scobe, Revenant, Lucky Roo, Lazy Dragon. Chris, Johnny Rogers, Irene Sharda, Tris, David Langstaff, Childish Nujabes, AJ, and my boy, Big Abdel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.